Hey guys, uh, doing a little review on uh, my uh, power supplies that I use for my charging when I'm home here. I uh, use a couple different chargers. I use uh, this is an IMAX Quattro, uh, B6 Quattro. I really like it. It's 50 watts per channel. There's four channels. When you're charging really big batteries, it's just really, really slow. It will do up to a six cell, but it's you're not going to charge about two amps is all you're going to get no matter what you tell it yeah charge six amps but it's still only going to charge at about two i can't I can't get much out more out of the 50 watts so anyway i bought a uh, thunder power tp820 cd and uh, you can see my input voltage there's uh, i guess you can see that 24.7 it's bouncing around a little after the seven but uh, i needed a really good power supply for that. Now this is a Hobbyco uh, power supply I bought years ago. I've had this for five or six years. It's just a 12 volt and a 5 volt. So I got 12 volts coming out here. It's 11.5 amps. Which does fine for the uh, the IMAX, but uh, for this to charge the big 6S batteries for like the 500s and 600 helicopters that I fly and the big airplanes that I fly. I want something I could charge quickly and much higher amps so this is where I wanted to go and to do that I need 24 volts so I didn't want to go out and pay $200 for some brand name power supply when my computer electronics degree could come in handy so I got uh, these uh, these are IBM power supplies they're 1300 watts they put out 12 volts I've got them running in series here so you can see I've got the bridge over and then I got one going to negative, one going to the positive lead and then again you see I've got 24 volts works really good everything works great and those are really cheap um, I'll actually have the a uh, good supply for these pretty soon so maybe putting some on eBay uh, probably around 25 bucks a piece for them um, as long, I've got to work out some logistics on there but at any rate they're, they're really good all you do is uh, you can put a switch, there's two pins, you see the two pins there that I've sorted together, you can't really tell, that little bitty dot of sorter, I took needle nose pliers and pinched those two together and then put a little dot of sorter on it and then that way when you plug it up, or in this case I used the power switch on that uh, power distribution box there, and I just got this stuff set on my pool table so I could show it there's good light in here, so anyway. Um, that's that's how I got that where you can put a switch across that because all you're doing is shorten those two pins out but I thought hey why, why not do this and then I sorted uh, these uh, little connectors together so I'm bridging out all that power across all of it so that it's kind of may not get a little warm pulling as many amps of course you know I'm not going to pull that many amps but again these are 12 volts a piece and uh, 1300 watts so that's a pretty good power supply if you go looking that up with some brand name somewhere uh, you're going to pay a whole lot more for this and this is IBM so I mean hey for computers it's one of the best brand names out there right it's a common case ground uh, so I put this board between it so that uh, it just separates them so I'm probably going to cut with some nice little case at some point that those will be in and those will be separated so but any rate, uh, so far so good. Again, those are IBM server power supplies. They're uh, 1,300 watts, and uh, they work great. Thanks.